Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the 0.9294 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 3.0% and in this video I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the edit waves and the Fibonacci's also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around to the end of the video I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart from the all-time high Polygon Matic has been seeing lower prices in this massive ABC correction which has now taken us to around the 0.31 dollar mark and from that point we started seeing a nice bounce to the upper side and I believe Polygon Matic has done whatever it was needed to do in its ABC correction and soon we might see this pump to the upper side in this Elliott wave having a wave 5 taking us back to an all time high and before that plays out we also need to see a fractal wave within this wave 1 to the upper side and I also have, I also have this yellow target on the chart which is between the 1.96 dollar mark and the 1.68 dollar mark which is the target area for that wave one to the upper side and that target area I'm getting it using the Fibonacci's so if I apply the Fibs here you can see that that yellow target lies between the Fib level 0.618 and the Fib level 0.5 which is the minimum that I expect that wave one to the upper side to do and in this video I want to focus on the formation of these fractal waves to the upper side so if I jump to the 4 hour chart so that you can see that better here on the 4 hour chart you can see that from the moment we touched that key area down there at around the 0.31 dollar mark the price of Polygon Matic started moving to the upper side very impulsively and we have broken above key areas of sub of resistances and you have continued pushing to the upper side and has continued to respect the Elliott waves and that is what I want to focus so that we can also get the key scenarios that can play out over here and if I just focus on the formation of the wave 1 and the wave 2 you can see that we started moving to the upper side and touched that key area of resistance up there then had a retracement to the lower side and in that retracement to the lower side that was the formation of a wave 2 and if I measure using the Fibonacci to see whether that wave 2 retraced to the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.618 you can see that in that retracement to the lower side that wave 2 did the minimum that we expected to do by going into that area between the Fib level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 we even overshooted that area a little bit and then started seeing a nice bounce to the upper side and whatever is information at the moment is a wave 3 to the upper side and we have reached the minimum target area that I expected that wave 3 to the upper side to do I expected the price of Polygon Matic to get into that yellow target up there at around the 0.94 dollar mark and the 0.90 dollar mark and we even overshooted that by going to the 1 dollar mark yesterday and after seeing the 1 dollar mark we have been seeing a little bit of a retracement over here to the lower side and that yellow target I came up with it using the trend based Fibonacci's so if I connect the high of the wave 1 and the low of wave 2 that should give us a target area for that wave 3 to the upper side at around the 1.618 fib level which Polygon Matic has respected we had that pump to the upper side to that area and by so doing I believe that wave 3 has now come to a complete and soon we might see a little bit of a retracement to the lower side in a wave 4 then also see a wave 5 to the upper side to complete that higher count Elliott wave 1 having said that it's possible that the wave 3 has come to a complete and soon it's possible that we start that wave 4 to the lower side and in that wave 4 it will be a retracement to the lower side 
So if I apply the fibs from that high up there at around the $1 mark, connecting it to the low down here, uh, that wave 4 should retrace to the area between the fib level 0 0.38 and the fib level 0 0.618 as a maximum. So if I draw out a target area here, that is the minimum that I expect that to happen. I will have to restrict myself to the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.5 because if I get to the FIB level 0 0.618 uh, that retracement to the lower side in a wave 4 will be overlapping the wave 1 which will be breaking the guidelines of the idiot waves so we need to stay above the FIB level 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.5 and that means in that retracement to the lower side in a wave 4 the minimum that i expect to see that wave 4 retrace to is is the area at around the 0 0.6672 dollar mark that is the maximum that that wave can retrace to and if you get below that then i think that will be invalidating my idiot wave count over here that is if we get to around the 0. To around the 0 0.62 dollar mark in the in, in that wave four, that would be invalidating my Elliott wave count, and I might have to recount that Elliott wave. So those are the key scenarios that I expect to play out over here. So I expect a retracement to the lower side in a, in the formation of our wave four to around the 0 0.68 dollar mark. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And it's still possible that maybe we have not completed that idiot wave, uh, that wave three to the upper side, and we might overshoot this, and maybe get to around the 1.12 dollar mark. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. If I also take a look at the indicators, here on the RSI, we are trading at around the 65, 65 mark, and that would mean it's possible that. Uh, we have room for us to continue pushing to the upper side if we if the price tries to overshoot that target area that we had on the chart and also we also ha we also have room for us to have that retracement to the lower side in our way four so let's be patient and see how that plays out here on the mark d on the rsi on the mark d on the 4 hour MACD we are just about to print a bearish cross and that would mean the retracement in our wave 4 is very possible so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated.